Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the interesting chess games that I played yesterday. Now it started off with d4, my opponent responds with d5. I play bishop g5 trying to make sure the pawn cannot be moved forward straight away uh, as the pawn is pinned now be because my bishop is hitting the queen. So that's the idea behind bishop g5. And opponent plays f6, trying to kick my bishop backwards. And here the idea was to bring the bishop onto h4. Because generally you would see it is being still chased by placing g5, which is which has completely weakened this diagonal uh, towards the king. Uh, the f7 is already, there's no pawn on f7. So it's a huge target, this diagonal, which can be exploited any time in the game. Now, before I continue with this further, I request you, to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. Now after g5, the only move is to save a bishop, which I do by placing bishop onto g3. Now opponent plays h5, trying to go for the kill, trying to hunt down my bishop. So I responded with h4, making sure that my opponent now, if tries to take, I can take back. The bishop would be nice. If plays pawn forward, still I have a lead in advantage because opponent has already weakened this diagonal as I showed earlier. So opponent plays g4 here and I went with e3 trying to solidify the center. This is a nice pawn chain and here my bishop is also there in between uh, eyeing this wonderful diagonal uh, towards the c7. Here my opponent plays a knight to d7. Uh, and I can respond with c4, trying to break open the center straight away. Open can take, I'll develop the bishop, which will, add, which will eye the f7 uh, square. But instead in the game, I went with queen to d3. Now the idea is to give a check from here, which is actually a checkmate if your opponent is not careful. And that can happen, of course. Uh, but here my opponent tries to safeguard that with a rook to h6, preventing me from placing my queen onto g6 uh, there. Uh, but here, as I had the dark square bishop, I hit it with the uh, the rook with the bishop. Now the bishop is uh, attacking the rook and opponent will lose the rook. And as soon as the rook falls, here will be the coming, uh, queen will be coming as well for the checkmate. Here uh, my opponent tries to safeguard the square for checkmate and by mistake places rook onto h7, which I take with the queen and the game was over as my opponent resigns only after the ninth move. So I won this game in nine move, but uh, even if that blunt doesn't happen, the best move as per computer on depth 20, as we explore, is to get the king onto f7, which is weird, which will lose the rook for sure. Because see, now you cannot save the rook. Wherever you move the rook back, it's a checkmate. If you try to move the rook backwards, it's a checkmate. So never save the uh, rook, uh, the checkmate coming from queen to g6 by placing your rook onto h6, especially when a, a piece like bishop can attack the rook. That's what happens, and I won, win the rook, and that was checkmate quickly. So one of the fastest checkmates. Uh, I hope you like the video. Do let me know your feedback. Keep watching and sharing. Do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now, and I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content as always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.